international donor like we said we're going to have a virtual interview to mskie can you bado mnaona gere nishaurie nishaurie no kesi badai are we together at y54 on facebook at y254 channel on twitter hashtag is bounce nation pleasant kuna kitu kusema kabla atuende interview inside tanasho would you like to see the smile my dj is giving you Woo. you are not even ready Ah, look at you. She's so sweet. Okay, say hi to your people. This is the Bounce Nation, and, and we have a lot of good vibes and a love to give you. So say hi, Tanasha. Hey, guys. How are you? I am super excited to be here today for the first time. I've heard a lot of good stuff about this show. So, yeah, I'm going to expect all the amazing vibes. <laughs> I'm so very glad. DJ Shach is a Kaya here. He's already mellowed the crowd into yeah now <clears throat> to feel in some type of way. And honestly, it's it's been a dream. Ona to kona tattoos na fanana. Miss Jui, si Jui Tanasha. Am I acting like a groupie? Well, let me see yours now. Do it, do it. Ni TV na kata. What's it? Zoom. I'm a new color inside. It's kind of somewhere over here. Yeah, but that's beside anything. What does your tattoo say? I'm curious. I'm very curious. The Dieu, which means for the love of God in French. And you said that so you speak French? I do speak French, yes. I lived in Belgium for almost 12 years, and it's a French and Dutch speaking country. So, yeah, that's how, that's how I speak French. <laughs> no, you're impressive, Shari. Okay, so maybe could you tell us a little bit about yourself, something that we cannot find on mainstream media? Something about Tanasha that makes her so phenomenal. I would say, I guess everyone knows I'm a creative. I'm a perfectionist. Um, I have to stand 100% behind everything I do, whether it's recording a song, from the mixing and mastering to the song, to the instrumental, to directing the video. So I'm literally 100% behind everything I do. And a lot of people don't know that about me. They think I'll just do my job as an artist and, and let everyone do the rest. But I have to literally be behind every single thing I do. Other than that, um, yeah, the fact that, okay, now people know, people do know I'm half lower, but I still surprise some people when I tell them that. And yeah, other than that, I am a very sensitive being, so I, I am quite emotional. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess those are three, three things and three fun facts about me. <laughs> It's quite well. I would have never picked you to be sensitive. You have that cafe that's. <clears throat> you know, I'm a cancer. And they say cancers, us crabs, like we're hard on the outside and soft on the inside. So we're very good at showing people that hardcore side of us. But inside, we're really actually quite soft and sensitive. <laughs> so now you see. I gotta ask my country people. I, honestly, I did not want to talk about this, but it, it's because of public demand, and it hurts me a little to ask her about something that should be very private. But it's okay. Hashtag it's Bounce Nation. So just maybe if I can grow from where we've started, from known to unknown. You said you're you're quite soft. So I, I'm sure when you came back home, when um, I don't know if you guys called it quits or not with Diamond, and and there was so much going on on the internet. Did you? I really hope you didn't see any of that nonsense. There was so much going on. People who have nothing. I, I hope you didn't see anything that was on the the on the you know internet and people saying things about things that they don't know. But how did you deal with that? Well, I think I think it just took getting used to because some things are inevitable especially when you are um a celebrity or an artist or an influencer or whatever public figure and you are venturing into this entertainment industry some things are inevitable regardless what you do um people will still have something to say and it's always going to be from their perspective because most of the stuff i can guarantee right now that 70 percent of the stuff that i see about myself on the media most are fabricated or false or twisted versions of of the truth or just something there's always something going on with it 30 percent do happen to be true so i came to realize that as long as i know my truth and i know who i am I shouldn't really care what other people think because otherwise I'd be living their life and not living my life. But something that I have recently started doing is is taking is dealing with people 
with the law, you know, um, people who spread lies about me, defamation of character or, or cyber bullying, all of these things. I'll have people, I'll have my lawyers send people demand letters and actually take them to court. And I did it with the first person already. He publicly came and apologized. I forgave him. Um, but I am in the process of doing that with so many other people who tend to spread a lot of lies and fabricated stories about myself. So I would advise a lot of the people out there, whenever we're talking about celebrities or public figures, influencers in general, when you hear a story, it's always best to find out if it's factual information. And if you know that it's not, you'd rather use the words allegedly or or certain words, you know, so that it doesn't seem like you're actually spreading something that's actually not true. Mm -hmm. I like that. I've had like basically three people at most <laughs> try to cyber bully me here on this live TV shows, but you know, I'm not, I'm not even as sweetheart. Like nobody knows me, so I, I get very confused when somebody's trying to give me hate. Like. <laughs> what's shining you know nobody will hate on oh. someone that's doing bad so that's how that's how i look at it and that's how you should <laughs> is what is up so again today on the show our topic is george floyd hashtag george floyd there's a lot of racism going on in this here town in this here court not country rather world you know and and from it was so drastic. From one minute when quarantine, everyone is staying at home. Next, they were almost purging in the States. Things are being burned. Yeah, the people are looting. It's, it's just ridiculous. And, and I can't say, I, I can't blame them, you know, but Pia Nasisi to Kianza hashtag, you know, George Floyd, if we say, you know, stop racism, but ourselves, Neza Kutam Tuanasema, I can't be this person from this tribe. I, Oh, like how are we different? How are we any different? I like to tell people that when we cut ourselves beneath that skin, we all have red blood. There's nobody who has yellow blood or blue blood, unless you're an alien, but everybody has red blood. And that shows you, there's a phrase that says, don't judge a book by its cover, because that shows you that, that what's on the outside is not what's on the inside and at the end of the day what's our skin color is just a color it's literally just a color we all have the same brain the same heart unless god forbid you're disabled or have some sort of disabilities but i believe that we're all the same we've all been wired the same we all have the same organs we all function the same so the need for racism is just honestly it's it's stupid to me it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any logical sense. Mm -hmm. If we could have one message from you to them, how, what would you say? From me to the, to the, to the who? The racists or the people? The people, well, some of them are racist, some of them are not. So maybe let's just say people. <laughs> to them, it's just let us focus more on spreading love and being positive and not always focus on on the unnecessary things or the negative things, you know. And racism, to be specific, I've experienced it in Europe back in the days, and I am half white, just to show you that they did not look at me like that. To them, I was fully African. And I just, I've experienced racism myself in Europe. I've had people who wouldn't want to sit next to me in the bus just because I'm, I have brown skin of color. Oh yes, I'm okay. telling you a true story. Thank you, thank you. But other people, I would just say, like I said before, at the end of the day, we're all wired the same. We're all human beings. There's nobody who's better than the other because otherwise God would have created different genres of humans, but we all the same. So let's focus on that. Let's be more positive and let's spread more love and, and, and less violence and less hate. Can I just tell you, Tanasha, you've surprised me. I, I didn't expect to, I didn't expect you to have such a cool spirit. I don't know. I, I imagine people with, who are, you know, at some type of level up there must have some type of either makasiriko or majifanyo, either way. But you, like we could be friends. Like when I say I like Tanasha's music, I'm like, yeah, I know Tanasha and I like her music. Thank you, <laughs> man. People, Thank Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so again, mm -hmm. <laughs> I 
humble yourself. So those compliments go back to you. Compliment. What wangu ni talala wapi? Where am I sleeping? Where am I sleeping? Hmm. Anyway, so again, one of my favorite things about you is is how how I, I, I want to say when you were at the time with Diamond and then you had that song, Yotakyagerimanze. And then I don't know there was a split up or or whatever happened, I don't know. But you went with it, like eh, I feel like you're so damn smart. Like you you took it and you went like Ulienda <laughs> Kakiendaga, yes. So how did you do it? How did you not stop in stride? How did feelings not stop you from doing what you're doing or nonsense like that? Because I, you know, I think it all becomes priorities when you have different priorities in life, uh, then things change. Back in the days, my priority used to be my relationship or my family, or mm -hmm. sorry, not family, my relationship or love mm -hmm. or or all of these things, you know. But now my my priorities are family and work and following my dreams. And there's nothing more. I'm more in love with all of that than anything else. So it all becomes priorities. Once you set your priorities straight, everything else follows. And I'm not stopping anytime soon, inshallah. I'm going to keep going. Um, I have so much, so much unreleased music, so many big collaborations, and I can't wait to share it with Kenya and the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. I, I felt goosebumps. I don't know about the rest of the Kenyan community, but apo kwangoma na kurelease, I have niko goosebumps, yeah. Okay, Tanasha, follow me on Instagram. Follow a girl, come on. Ah, I ah. need those handles, girl. On WhatsApp, I'm waiting. Perfect <laughs> after this. <laughs> anyway, so we, we are coming to the end of our show, uh, show of our interview rather. And and is it okay if you just give some love to my DJ? His name is Kingsy, and he's a bit because of physical.